Now let's start making the populations interact. So the first thing I've got to look at, of course, is that fish get eaten by sharks. So one way to do that is to say, well, let's take the sharks variable here. I'm going to right click and choose copy the variable. And I'm going to bring it up here and say it's going to interact with fish numbers in some way. Now, the simple way of looking at this is to say the, the growth rate of fish in the absence of sharks will just be a constant. But if there are sharks about, then the simplest way to model the interaction of the two populations is to say that the number of uh, the growth rate of sharks of fish will be that constant minus some constant multiplied by how many sharks there are. Now, when you expand that out, you get an equation where you actually end up looking at the rate of change of fish being some constant times how many fish there are minus another constant multiplied by how many fish there are times how many sharks there are. It's where the linearity comes in. Let's start getting that all wired up here. So I've simply got the exponential growth first of all. I need to make a bit of space here. And now uh, the fact that I'm adding in this thing, and I'm going to be subtracting the interaction with sharks. So I click on the subtract block here and bring that down. I'm now going to go up and right click on the line there and delete that line. And now rewire that through the plus side of that minus block. So that's still exactly the same equation. I haven't changed so far changed the equation at all. But now what I want to do is have the interaction of fish times sharks. So let's go back to move mode again. We're looking forward to changing that to context sensitive. Hopefully uh, in only a few weeks time that'll happen. So I'm going to multiply the number of fish by the number of sharks. I'll click on the multiply block, bring that down here. I could just drag a wire down from fish, but I'll right click there and choose copy the variable. So I'm going to be multiplying the number of fish by the number of sharks. But I also want to multiply it by a factor that shows the interaction between the two because it's, I need to say there's some you know, number of time, some impact that each shark has on your, uh, pop, your fish population surviving. So let's say that each uh, shark that exists reduces the growth rate of fish by uh, 20 uh, by 0 0.05 when the growth rate in the absence of the sharks is 0 0.5 so it's about a 10 percent impact of each shark on the growth rate of fish so I click on this constant here I'm going to define this school so this goes I'll just call this eat eaten by a shark unless that has got a variance a set of 0 0.05 so I now want to multiply that by the fish times the shark. So I don't need to wire all this up. Well, here's one little trick we're using in our program that's different to other software packages so far. Multiply is an operation that you can have as is you multiply one by another, by another, by another, by another. Uh, in some of the programs, you have to actually put multiple blocks together. Others, you have to add extra inputs on. We just thought, why not use it as a multiple? So I'm going to have drag over to fish here and drag sharks over there as well. So that's now saying multiply the number of fish by the number of sharks, by the seed and by shark constant. And I'll just wire that up, and I've now got the interaction of sharks and fish. Now I need to look at the other side of thing. Of course, if, each, if a shark eats a fish, it's going to be less likely to die. So I need to need that into account down the bottom of the equation. So let's just move things around a bit here again. Um, I've still got the negative for the death rate there. But I now need to bring in the impact of being able to eat a fish rather than starving to death. I'm just going to delete that curved line there. I prefer to have the multiply relationship I've shown up the top there. I'm just going to delete that line, copy the shark variable, bring it over here and wire that up. So now I'm back to exactly the same equation, but I need to add in the impact, the beneficial impact of eating a fish on shark populations. So I need to bring a plus key down here, delete that wire, make a bit of space here. You spend your time dragging these things around the screen of course when you're doing a large amount of layout and I now need to wire that up to here so I've still got exactly the same equation so far. Now I've got to show the benefit of eating a, uh, a fish on shark populations. Well, let's just call this variable eat fish. Constant call this eat fish and let's give this a value of 0.025 so it's uh, each each fish uh, being eaten by a shark improves the survival rate of the fish the shark population by 0.025 in the absence of their death rate is uh, 2 or 200 percent per annum. So there's my other variable and now I want to multiply that by the number of sharks by the number of fish. So I copy the sharks 
and I copied the fish. And I need to multiply all those together, so another multiply block up here. And now wire all these together to eat the sharks, multiply by the number of fish, by the number of sharks, add that in together. Let's go back and stop it. I've now got a complete model. Hit simulate. And I get cycles. Let's just stop quickly and I'll show you one more detail. Let's add another chart down here. And I'm just going to now... Ah, didn't mean to do that so quick. I'm still in wire mode. You've got to be careful about that. So let's just actually delete that particular wire. Just click on the... Once you see the blue dot, you can select the wire. So right click and choose delete. I now need a copy of fish. Let's copy fish there drag it over here and let's copy sharks click and choose copy drag it over here if I now wire those up I want to wire fish to the black input on the vertical and I'm going to wire sharks to the black input on the horizontal and this now says rather than graphing uh, fish against time and sharks against time which these two charts do so now I can say graph the number of fish at a particular point in time against the number of sharks at that same point in time Let's stop and go back to the beginning. And you get the classic closed loop of a predator prey system. Okay, next stage, adding, well, uh, adding in a bank into a, uh, hang on, no, next one, I'll do one with the, which is actually a, an economic one, which is similar type of behavior, but now looking at the uh, interaction of wages, profits, investment, and so on.